Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm so excited for today's video. This is going to be such a fun video. I am going to be showing you guys the unboxing that I have for a new set of crystals that I got sent over um, from AO Vila, I believe is how you say the company. I'm so excited for today's video. I'm very new to the realm of like crystals and everything, so if you guys have advice for me, definitely leave it in the comments down below. But they kindly sent me over their entire Zodiac collection. Um, so I have every single Zodiac sign in a box right here, ready to show you guys, and we're gonna go over them. I'll give you some information about them, and then if you guys have any comments for me, I would love to hear them because I'm just entering like this whole crystals community. So definitely let me know down below how I should be using them, what I should be doing, anything like that. All right guys, so let's go ahead and get into the boxes because I know that's why you're here. So let's start with my box, which is the Scorpio box. And I'm just gonna tell you a little bit about each crystal and then if there are repeats in boxes, I will obviously not go back in depth with them, but I'll tell you everything that's in every Zodiac box that they have. So without further ado, the Scorpio box, opens up they look like this they have a magnetized front and they also come with little cards so they just have like the company's information and a little thank you card and then it comes with a profile sheet for each zodiac sign so mine is Scorpio and on this side it has your constellation and then on the other side it has some information so it has your characteristics which for Scorpio is intense independent tenacious loyal and mysterious it also talks about your elements, your ruling planet, your symbol, um, your lucky numbers, your birthstones, and your magical herbs. And then at the bottom, it says, Scorpios are emotionally intense psychic people who absorb the surrounding energy and bring joy to their lives. Then, it also comes with a card that talks about each crystal that is in the kit and a way to do a crystal cleansing. So, very cool. It basically tells you how to use the crystals, which is nice for people who are like me and new to this whole crystal situation. Then you open it up and it has a cover over the crystals, so they're very well protected. These also all came in a box within another box and then in this box, so they're packaged very well. Um, and so let's go ahead and get into the stones, shall we? So the first stone in here is a red jasper. This stone's description says, excellent worry stone in parentheses calms the emotions absorbs negative energy and is useful for scorpio then we have citrine citrine activates scorpio's imagination bringing more creative visions to a clearer mind black obsidian a grounding stone to absorb negative energy unburdening the deeply emotional scorpio and it looks like that then we have amethyst which this is super pretty i love purple so i'm very excited about this one being in my box it says a talismanic stone for scorpio it's said to protect from negative energy and psychic attacks then we have labradorite which this one is so cool because look the way the light hits it it like changes colors like look at that it's like teal and green and then like when no lights on it it just looks gray but then as soon as you turn it the right way for light it has that cool reflex i think this is so cool labradorite assists scorpios facing changes and challenges and protects it from negativity then the last one in this box is a green fluorite and it just looks like this super pretty and green fluorite has strong energy it increases scorpio's powers of concentration and self-confidence and every single box has these descriptions for the crystals and they're slightly different per zodiac but i am just going to talk about the ones that we haven't seen before when opening a box like the descriptions wise but i'll tell you everything that is in the box just because we'd be here for a while i was going to read every description of all all of these so next we have the aries box and yes i am going to go out of birthday order i'm just going to grab them as i go this one is the aries box looks like this when you open it up again you get the same cards just personalized to aries and Aries has a kyanite stone. It says, kyanite cleanses and opens your mind and helps Aries communication, fighting through fears and blockages. So probably a good to have in like social situations. Maybe put it in like your living room where you would hang out with people. Next we have citrine. Citrine is the stone of success. It brings good luck, wealth, and prosperity for Aries. Then we have an additional amethyst stone. 
Then we have a clear quartz. Looks like this. I love these. They're so pretty. It says, clear quartz is a powerful and pure energy source which can make Aries more aware and active. Then we have a green aventurite. Super cool. This one is the opportunity stone for Aries, especially in manifesting prosperity and wealth. So that's cool. If you're like a work from home type of person or you could take it to your desk, that would be a good place to put that because it's like trying to incite success. Then the last stone in here is a red jasper. This one is a powerful stone for Aries and it helps them think before they act and can also help stabilize restlessness. And that's everything in the Aries box. Next we have the Cancer box, looks like this. In this one we have an additional green um, aventurite or aventurine. I think I've been saying it wrong last time. It's aventurine. Then we have a rose quartz, which is one of my favorite stones. I just think it's so pretty. I love blush pink. So if you guys know me, you know I love blush pink and it's just beautiful. So we haven't talked about rose quartz yet. So rose quartz known as the love crystal promotes self-love and gives cancer loving energy. Next, we have another labradorite, which we saw in the Scorpio box earlier. Then we have another clear quartz and a green fluorite. Next, we have the Sagittarius box, looks like this. All the boxes are so cool and how like custom they are to each sign. In this box, we have a lapis lazuli, which is new. So we have, it's called the Stone of Enlightenment and it promotes Sagittarius's awareness of awakenings on all levels. Then we have a clear quartz, a, another labradorite, we have another citrine, we have a tiger's eye, which we have not gone over yet. This one is so cool, I love all the stripe patterns in these. And a tiger's eye promotes wealth and luck, encourages Sagittarius to live bravely in all aspects of life. And then we also have a black obsidian, just like there was in the Scorpio box. Next, we have the Virgo box, a citrine, a lapis lazuli, another tiger's eye. This one has the pattern going a different way. We have a carnelian, a green aventurite, and a stone we have not talked about yet, a garnet, which I think these look like little space stones. They're so cool. This one has a lot of like flat edges too. So it kind of looks like something you'd see in like a lab. I don't know. Garnet opens the Virgo's heart, increases self-confidence, and is a loyalty gemstone. Next, we have the Taurus box. In this box, we have a rose quartz stone. We have a clear quartz. We have another garnet. We have a carnelian, we have another kyanite stone, and we have a green aventurine. Next we have the Aquarius box. In this box we have a clear quartz, a green fluorite, another garnet, little space stones. We have a rose quartz and an amethyst stone. And this one has a stone we haven't talked about yet. It has blue appetites, which I think this looks like the ocean and it's so pretty. And it also has like little specks of orange up in there, if you can see that. And blue appetite, it stimulates creativity and intellect and expands knowledge and truth, easing sorrow, apathy, and anger. So that one, is seems very powerful it has lots of things that it does and i really like the look of it so super pretty next we have the libra box in this box we have a rose quartz then we have a blue appetite a black obsidian a clear quartz a lapis lazuli and a citrine next we have the capricorn box in this box we have a tiger's eye a green fluorite a red jasper this one's cool it has like we have a garnet little space stones we have a clear quartz and a black obsidian and next is the gemini box in the gemini box we have in here we have a tiger's eye a green fluorite a green aventrine a blue appetite this one has a lot of orange in it another labradorite and a citrine next we have the pisces box in here we've got an amethyst a clear quartz a tiger's eye a green fluorite and a kyanite and a labradorite 
Lastly, we have the Leo box. In here we have a red jasper, a garnet, a clear quartz, a carnelian, a tiger's eye again. I love the stripe pattern on that one. And a citrine. All right, guys, so before we wrap the video, I just wanted to give you some ideas for what you could use these for. So if you're looking for a more personal Christmas gift, this is a great way to go, especially for somebody who is more spiritual or likes to meditate or work out or anything like that because you can basically customize this for them because you can get them their sign, which I just think is super cool. I'm definitely gonna be using some of these as gifts for Christmas. Um, I also just wanna go ahead and say thank you to Ao Villa for sending these over, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you would like to check out Ao Villa, I will link them down below. They have an Amazon shop, their website, and an Instagram. I will link all of them for you guys to go check them out. Super cool company, definitely give them a look and let them know that you came from over here. And with that being said, I will talk to you all in my next video. Thanks for watching guys, bye.